Hello friends. So it's currently let me see. So it's currently 308 a.m. and I am not asleep. I've been having a really bad insomnia in the past month and like I'm really physically tired but my brain just kept thinking things and I, I wasn't able to fall asleep. Um, I'm trying to like get up to do something else and then distract myself and try to fall asleep again. Um, so I thought, you know, why not take my camera out and just talk to you and like update you in my life because um, I've been all around the place and people are wondering what the hell I'm doing. And after all, like, you know, I know a lot of you graduated from university this year and are kind of lost um, and like are pretty unsure of what you want to do. Things have turned out pretty unexpectedly for me. So I thought it would be nice for me to just share my experience. A little bit background is I am a Malaysian. I went to Canada to study in the University of British Columbia uh, for four years. Graduated in a degree in marketing. Um, I did pretty all right. Like I graduated with an honors and then I moved back to Malaysia. Even right before I graduated, I wasn't sure of what I want to do. I just tell myself that, you know, I'm just gonna come home, spend time with my family. Mainly because like I haven't seen my family for two years then. Like I didn't go home for two years and then I just wanted to spend time with them and you know, think things through. Most of my friends that are like maybe half of them have already had job offers before we graduated and I felt pressured and at the same time like I felt the need to support my family as soon as I can. I think it's like an Asian thing. Um, so like, I I think I only rested for like two weeks and I started looking for jobs. I think I sent in like 10 applications and I got two interviews right away and I got offered for that two jobs. And um, one of the offers were pretty good. Like it's a good company. I got the role that I wanted and uh, compensation was all right so like I I just took it um, I didn't really give it like much thought, or I didn't even like try for more companies and I just I just went ahead with it so I started working a month after I graduated and um, I would spare you the details because it's gonna get too too lengthy if I go in there but basically like I quit my job eight months after I worked like, like I said, it's a good company, but I rushed into it without thinking clearly. I started questioning like my choice in career or the path in my life that I want to get to. I had a history of depression and, you know, it kind of relapsed. Um, it was a tough decision because like, you know, as a fresh graduate, you know, I was told that I have to have a good resume and I didn't want to like quit a job within a year. Um, but I decided to take to make the call because health comes first and I really was at a really really dark place a really bad place and I'm really fortunate to have like you know extra savings and really understanding parents and I'm here so like it's been four months since I quit my job and I think within the two months that I was resting like I I kind of sorted like I made it clear to myself that I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Like I knew I wanted to be a boss since I was young and I wanted to be a social entrepreneur. Like I knew that since I was in university. I realized that the path that I went into um, social media marketing or digital marketing, um, it's good experience. I learned a lot and like I know it's going to come in handy in my future business, but like it wasn't paving the land up to entrepreneurship like it's I don't want to climb the corporate ladder I hope you get what I'm trying to say a friend of mine reached out to me to start an NGO and it's related to mental health um, and women empowerment and I felt like it's something that I was called to do and so I decided to make things work for myself um, to find like part-time gigs, freelance gigs to support myself while I try to make things work for this NGO slash social business slash charity that I could be doing. And at the same time, because of my love for henna and drawing in my own hand, 
someone actually like asked me to set up a booth in like a local flea market and I felt like you know why not do it and I actually fell in love in doing it because I get to meet a lot of people uh, from my community and I get to work on my art it's it's been an interesting journey things came up really really unexpectedly for me like a year ago when I was still in university I wouldn't expect myself to be staying at home because I moved I moved out of home since I was like 18 and working doing henna for people that's the weirdest thing ever what's not talked about out there is post graduation impression a lot of people feel really lost it's understandable like up until our university life we've always been told to you know f follow a certain system so like um, when you're in high school you know that you're going to university and even though you need to choose like which stream or degree that you'll be taking there's always been that, that guideline like uh, you'll be able to apply for arts if you fulfill the arts requirement and you are able to pass an exam if you fulfill that grade requirement and like you know it goes on there's always been like a blueprint there for you to follow but after university it's just bang they just prepare you for that and then they just throw you in a ball pit and you have to figure out the way out yourself i think that's the tricky thing like everyone wants to seem like they have their shit together especially in this generation where social media is out there and people don't really talk about the struggles because social media is a highlight and you don't really post as much negative things as you can online because you don't want your future employer to see it and like it gets really tricky i think the main purpose of me making this video is like i just wanted to be real and like update you guys about my life and i honestly have no idea what i'm doing and i think it's okay um, because we're all learning in this journey i'm willing to take the risk of like quitting a full-time job and starting a business slash ngo and make things work for myself because i for me i feel like this is the best time to do it because um the older i get i'm gonna have more commitments and it's gonna be harder for me to you know just leave everything and try to do something that might not work like i'm not super positive about this but i'm willing to take the risk because i feel like i'm young and capable of doing it all right um, um i'll keep you guys updated with the progress and like once things have a more solidified plan i might announce it on my channel for those of you who are curious financially i'm supporting myself with freelance so if you know of anyone who needs like website building or blogging writing or like social media marketing anything i'm working for a company in the u.s for their website i'm helping my friend locally for her instagram marketing like i'm i'm doing everything that i can to support myself while i try to leave my dream <laughs> oh my gosh so hopefully things work out for me and um i think i'm gonna try to sleep right now it's been fun talking to you let me know if you like videos like that where i'm just talking to you and like being comfortable and i'll see you in my next video good night okay, bye wait i think my mom is woke up